This is you. This is now. 2025. Imagine you are the time traveler, ready to witness everything that awaits humanity and the entire cosmos. And here's my challenge to you. This cosmic journey is vast, and a single video can't catch every gravitational shift or quantum event. If you notice any major milestones or even forgotten possibilities that don't appear on this timeline, I challenge you to drop them in the comments below. I rely on you, the most attentive observers in the universe. Part 1. The Human Era, 2025 until 2100 You are standing at the edge of a cliff called the future. Humanity feels like it's moving fast, right? AI. Rockets to Mars. The chaos of the internet. But on the scale of the universe, we haven't even started the stopwatch. Let's speed this up. 100 years from now, the maps look different. Coastal cities have retreated or learned to float. The chaotic weather of the early 21st century has stabilized into a new, hotter normal. Here are 11 billion people. It's crowded. Oil is a relic. We run on fusion and the sun, or we don't run at all. Part 2. The decay of man from 1,000 to 1 million years from now. 1,000 years. The crowds are gone. The noise has stopped. The cities are quiet. Where did we go? Did we destroy ourselves? A final war or a climate collapse we couldn't outrun? Or did we graduate? Did we pack our lives into silver ships and sail for the stars, leaving our cradle behind? The earth doesn't say. It just keeps spinning. Let's jump 20,000 years. The exclusion zone around Chernobyl is finally safe for life again. Our longest-lasting legacy nuclear waste is finally quiet. 50,000 years. Niagara Falls has eroded completely. It's just a cliff now. The geography you know is dissolving. 100,000 years. Look at the sky. You wouldn't recognize it. The stars have moved. The Big Dipper, Orion, the North Star, they don't exist anymore. Every map we ever drew of the sky is useless. Also, a supervolcano likely erupts around now. If anyone is left, they are having a very bad day. One million years. The Great Pyramids of Giza, or what's left of them. Erosion has finally won. The last recognizable structure of human civilization dissolves into dust. We are gone, or we have left. Or we have changed so much, we aren't human anymore. Part 3. The Reshaping of the Worlds 10 million to a billion years in the future 10 million years. The map continues to tear apart. East Africa breaks away from the main continent. A new ocean floods the Rift Valley. The Red Sea is not a sea anymore. It is the baby brother of the Atlantic. 30 million years. Look at our neighbor, Mars. Its moon, Phobos, has spiraled too close. Gravity tears it apart. Mars is no longer just a red rock. It now has a beautiful, shining ring system, just like Saturn. 50 million years. Back on Earth, Africa has drifted north and collided with Europe. The Mediterranean Sea is gone. In its place, a new mountain range rises into the sky, taller than the Himalayas today. Earth's geography is completely alien to us. 250 million years. The continents crash back together. A new Pangaea is formed, but enjoy the view while you can. 600 million years. The moon moves a tiny bit further away from Earth every year. Now it is too far away to cover the sun completely. The last total solar eclipse in history takes place. From now on, there are only rings of fire. 800 million years. This is the breaking point. Carbon dioxide levels drop so low that C3 photosynthesis becomes impossible. 99% of plant life dies. Forests turn into brown wastelands. Oxygen levels crash. Complex life on Earth suffocates. The age of animals ends. One billion years. The sun's luminosity increases by 10%. That doesn't sound like much, but it's enough to boil the oceans. Earth is now a sterilized rock a twin of Venus. The story of life on this planet is over. Before we leave our home planet behind forever, thank you for watching this far. If you are enjoying this journey to the end of time, please hit the like button and subscribe. Have I missed a crucial milestone so far? Let me know in the comments below. 
Now, let's think bigger, much bigger. Part 4, The Galactic Era, 4 billion to 100 billion years into the future. 4 billion years. Our Milky Way collides with Andromeda. It's a violent, beautiful dance. The night sky on any surviving planets would be blindingly bright. Seven and a half billion years. The sun enters its red giant phase. It expands, swallowing Mercury and Venus. It grows so large, it fills the Earth's entire sky. Whether it swallows Earth or pushes it away, our cradle is destroyed. The sun dies, collapsing into a small white dwarf. One quadrillion years. Ten to the power of fifteen. The era of loneliness. Passing stars have tugged at the planets with their gravity. Most planets have been flung out of their solar systems. Earth, or what's left of it, now drifts alone, without a sun, through the eternal darkness. One hundred billion years. The universe is expanding so fast that other galaxies have disappeared from our view. If a civilization arises now, they will believe their galaxy is the entire universe. They will never know the Big Bang happened. They will never know we existed. Part 5. The Degenerate Era from 1 trillion to 10 to the power of 40 years in the future. We are now 1 trillion years in the future. We enter the Degenerate Era. Star formation stops. The fuel is gone. The universe is filled with the corpses of stars. White dwarfs, neutron stars, and black holes. It is a graveyard. One by one, the lights go out. Civilizations huddle around the last dying embers of red dwarfs, clutching to warmth. And then, the last star dies. Ten to the power of 1,500 years. Strange things happen in the dark. Through quantum tunneling, atoms fuse even at absolute zero. All matter tries to turn into the most stable element, iron. Remaining stars turn into cold, solid spheres of iron. Iron stars floating in the void. 10 to the power of 40 years. Matter itself begins to die. Protons, the building blocks of atoms, decay. The iron stars, the planets, the dust, it all dissolves into subatomic radiation. If you were standing here, you wouldn't just see nothing. You would be nothing. Part 6. The Black Hole Era. From 10 to the power of 40 to 10 to the power of 100 years in the future. Welcome to the black hole era. The only things left are monsters. Black holes dominate the dark, orbiting each other in a silent void. Some are the mass of billions of suns. But even monsters die. They fade away through a process called Hawking radiation. Particle by particle, over time scales we cannot comprehend, the black holes evaporate. It takes a Google years. That is a one followed by 100 zeros. When the last black hole dies, it releases a final burst of light. A last firework in a dead universe. Part 7. The End. From 10 to the power of 100 until forever. This is one possibility. The heat death. The dark era where entropy hits its maximum. But there are other ways the story could end. Maybe dark energy becomes too strong. The big rip. Space expands so fast that galaxies, then solar systems, and finally atoms themselves are torn apart. Or maybe gravity wins. The big crunch. The expansion reverses. The universe collapses back into a single point of infinite fire, perhaps resetting the clock for a new Big Bang. Or perhaps vacuum decay. A bubble of true physics expands at the speed of light, deleting the universe instantly without warning. But no matter how it ends, the result is the same. No thought. No light. No time. Just silence. But for a brief, shining moment in the beginning, we were here. Do you want to know more about how researchers believe the universe will end? From the big rip to vacuum decay? Click the pinned video to find out.